Sister Wives Cody Brown Nervous by David Woolley, A.ing Robin Brown. Sister Wives spoilers reveal that Cody Brown and David Woolley have officially met on the show. Christine Brown was pretty nervous about the two of them meeting, but since she and Cody share children, David needed to meet the family. Interestingly enough, it seemed like Cody was more concerned about Robin Brown in this meeting. Hello friends, welcome to the Daily Gossip News Update. I am Eva and hope you are well by God's grace. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. When David and Cody met, Cody was interested to see how things would go. As soon as they started talking, Cody was a bit thrown off by Robin's behavior. Robin commented on something David said and it got to Cody. Of course, this made Cody grill David about himself and his intentions with Christine. David began to notice that Cody was getting red in the face while he was talking to him. It was clear that Cody was trying to protect everyone in his family, and that was why he decided to grill David. He asked him about how long he and Christine had been dating, and Christine jumped in and told him, a month and a half. Cody asked if he had met any of the Brown children, and when David answered, Cody was very upset. When Christine told Cody that David had met all of her children, Cody was shocked. He also met all of my Kelty Padron's children, which made Cody fume. David even told Cody that he was the babysitter one day so that Christine and her daughter could have a spa day. For a man who had only been in Christine's life for a little over a month, this was extremely shocking to Cody. Robin loved the fact that David was able to spend so much time with the kids and grandkids, and this made Cody upset. Cody pointed out, what was interesting is David made more eye contact with Robin and talked to Robin way more than me. Cody was also worried that David was trying to get into grandfather territory, which Cody seemed to claim already. Will Cody get over the fact that David wants to be close to his family too? We will have to wait and see. Though she was undecided on if she'd like to build on Coyote Pass or simply sell it off, Janelle noted that step one was paying off the Arizona property. And with Cody unwilling to talk to her about the situation. I think I'm going to have to lawyer up, she confessed to former sister wife Christine Brown in the September 22 episode. Because I think that's the only way I'm ever going to get any kind of decision out of him. And Janelle acknowledged that without a legal marriage to Cody, I really have no legal rights to make any kind of claim on Cody's property. As she put it, it's not like I'm just calling a lawyer and saying I need to divorce this person. No, it's really complicated because there's no legal marriage. Cody's explanation for not talking with Janelle about their Arizona property is that he no longer trusted her. We will pay off the property when the time comes, he insisted in a confessional during the September 22 episode. And I'm not giving you any details about what I'm doing or whatever, because I'm tired of disclosing information that goes through the gossip mill of our broken family. A bit of a pot calling the kettle black, Janelle said in her own interview. He leaks like a sieve, she shared. He told me stuff about his other relationships and his other wives that I was like, I don't think you're supposed to be telling me that. Back when the family's love was still multiplying rather than dividing, they used to pool their money into one pot. We would use all the resources to help one person. Then we would all rally to support the other person," Janelle explained on the September 22 episode. That's how it always worked until the last 10 years or so. And all of a sudden it's been about my estate, and everyone needs their own estate. So when Robin was in need of a home in Arizona, they all pitched in to buy her $1.65 million five-bedroom spread, which was listed for sale this past August. The intention was that it would be an asset for the family, said Robin. But when Janelle suggested that they all put their names on the mortgage, she was rebuffed. Cody was like, no, no, we need to protect, you know, protect Robin's estate, Janelle recalled. So now that she's extricating herself from the family, continued Janelle, she'd like her portion of the Coyote Pass proceeds. And I'd like to recoup some of the money I put into Robin's house. But that could be a tough sell. We were working together for so long, noted Robin. And with Janelle saying she's owed money from them, Robin added, it's like, how do you calculate? How do you figure that out? It's so confusing. Griping about the family's inability to pay off Coyote Pass, 
Janelle said Cody claimed to have all these other debts. And yet, she's watched him snap up other assets like trailers and home decor. I see all the art on their walls, she said of Robin and Cody's home. I see all these things. And that's fine. I have money, and I've spent it on things too. For his part Cody said much of his cash went to buying cars, basically had a fleet, and insurance for the kids. And while Janelle acknowledged she wasn't sure how Cody and Robin handled their finances, I used to always be surprised at how nice her backyard was. It was completely finished, and there was always, like, stuff at her house. And I was like, wow, huh. Bottom line, she said, he doesn't prioritize what I need or what I want, and that issue eventually wore her down. I think after a while, I began to see it, and my kids were getting very angry about it, like my adult children. Like, what the hell, mom? Robin's take, however, was that she was very careful with her budget after her first marriage fell apart. I used to be not so great with money, she shared during the September 22 episode. When I was young, I had hard knocks, and then I learned during my divorce really how to budget myself very, very well. As for her fellow sister wives, she said, you just must have had a different priority of where your money was going to go than I did, that's all. Calling their setup with four homes on one cul-de-sac, during their stretch in Las Vegas, the best time of my life, Cody said, everything was going along smoothly, and Maddie and Caleb were around, and it was great having them around. And I loved Caleb. He was definitely like family. But things started to fall apart in Arizona as they clashed over coronavirus-related precautions. Then when his marriages fell apart, he said, his bonds with the kids followed. It just made all those relationships go sour. But Christine insisted there were issues well before she announced she was leaving in late 2021. All the kids that were frustrated were frustrated way before I left. She said on the September 22 episode. My leaving didn't change his kids' relationship with him. Cody can still fix his relationships with his children. Though it'll definitely take some work. I'm so angry about how I've been treated that I haven't gotten past that, Cody explained. Here's the thing is I'm not willing to take blame for things that my wife or ex-wife is sitting there telling them that I did. I hope the time comes when the contempt will subside. We'll be able to find forgiveness and love again. Cody Brown insisted he was ready to divide himself from first wife Mary Brown shortly after their 1990 vows. But he led me to believe that he would work on things by saying, oh Mary, when we move to Flagstaff, this will be a good time to have a new beginning for us. Mary shared in the September 15 premiere, referencing their 2018 move. Like he led me to believe those things. This is what he's done for many, many years. Her main gripe, she shared, is his lack of communication and how he really felt and what he really wanted or what he really didn't want and the story that he's been telling for all these years. And while Cody acknowledged that there may have been mixed messages, it was only because as he started to work on things, I'm like, why would I do this? He explained. I would not court and date her now. Either way, Mary's friends were thrilled when she finally pulled the plug in early 2023. They're like, Oak, we're here for you, we're supporting you. And it's about damn time, she confessed. Blinders off, she now feels that he had been trying to get her to walk away for years by insisting he didn't love her. Because if he can push me out and I leave, he's not the bad guy because he didn't walk away. Years after the family purchased the 14-acre plot of land, they planned to build on in Flagstaff or Riz, Cody confessed in the season premiere that he was ready to let the dream wither. Unable to build without paying off the full $820,000 price tag, which the family reportedly did in 2023, he told remaining wife Robin Brown, I'd almost rather scrap it or sell it and then just start again somewhere else. As for Robin, I can't talk about that, she responded. That is so not where I'm at. While second wife Janelle Brown previously told E! News, we just kind of started to grow apart. Ultimately, it was Cody's lapses as a parent to some of their kids that pushed her to leave. The big spark for me was when his relationship broke down with my children and he didn't seem like he would move heaven and earth to fix it. Explained the mom to Logan Brown. 
Madison Brownbrush, Hunter Brown, Garrison Brown, Gabriel Brown, and Savannah Brown. And I thought, oh, that was what was really holding me here. Even when Cody broached the idea of reconciling in the November 3 episode, it was a non-negotiable for Janelle. I don't know how I would ever reconcile with him and have him not have a relationship with my kids, she said. No, I'm going to always choose my kids. That was the explanation Cody gave for not working harder to mend the rifts he was experiencing with several of his adult children. I don't fit in the family anymore, he griped in the September 15 episode. Noting he was still fully married to Robin and parenting their five kids together, Dayton Brown, Aurora Brown, Brianna Brown, Solomon Brown, and Ariella Brown. He added, and then I have some relationship with some of the other kids and it's infrequent. And so I'm like, what do I do with all of this? It doesn't feel like a family. That was the explanation Cody gave for not working harder to mend the rifts he was experiencing with several of his adult children. I don't fit in the family anymore, he griped in the September 15 episode. Noting he was still fully married to Robin and parenting their five kids together. Dayton Brown, Aurora Brown, Brianna Brown, Solomon Brown, and Ariella Brown. He added, and then I have some relationship with some of the other kids, and it's infrequent. And so I'm like, what do I do with all of this? It doesn't feel like a family. Despite being truly monogamous for the first time in their 14-year union, we're probably doing the worst we've ever done in our marriage. Robin confessed in the season 19 premiere. It's been tough between us. He doesn't know who to blame, himself or one of the other wives. Cody's feeling a lot of rejection, and so I think he's kind of looking at me going, are you going to reject me too? As a result, she revealed, I'm on my toes. I'm having to consistently make sure that he is not sabotaging our relationship. The hardest part, she summed up, there's no resource to help with the idea that I'm still married to a man who's going through divorces. Cody, meanwhile, was having a crisis of confidence, sharing, I can't look myself in the mirror and say, hey dude, I love you. For Robin, it was a struggle to watch her former sister wives embrace their new era. They're all moving on, she noted in the October 27 episode. I feel like the idiot that got left behind. Add Janelle's eldest daughter Madison to the list of kids Cody doesn't currently have a relationship with. I know that Maddie has not had any conversations with her dad, Janelle explained during the premiere. He's not called, she's not called him, and she doesn't have any relationship with Robin. She's pretty much written them both off. That issue, said Janelle, is Cody having a half-hearted relationship with Maddie's kids Axel, Evangeline and Josephine. She doesn't really want him to have any contact unless he can commit to it. As a result, Janelle shared in the September 22 episode, Cody did sort of cut off communication with Maddie and her husband Caleb Brush, whose sister was married to Cody's brother, when the family started to really dissolve. With Cody not visiting or calling, Maddie has been mama bear to the extreme, added Janelle. She has felt like until he can be consistent and show up and not be dramatic that she feels like it's probably better if they don't know about him. And while Robin noted she's been encouraging Cody to reach out and mend things, she said, I think the kids should be doing the same thing too. For now though, Cody doesn't seem ready to repair the rift, griping that every time he spoke to his daughter, it was a fish for gossip and I got tired of it. While spending time together on their 32nd anniversary, he was alluding to the fact that he never loved me and he felt like he had to marry me. Mary shared in a chat with her friend Brandy during the September 15 premiere. And I said to him, I said, Cody, I said, I know you loved me. And if he didn't, the mom to Leon Brown said in a confessional, why did he ever propose? When a single young man meets a single young woman, why would he choose to marry her and just affirm and force love for her when he didn't love her? She wondered, how cruel is that? To pick me out of a crowd and just be like, I pick you to try to force myself to love for the next 32 years. Cody's response, he shared in his own confessional. Oh, Marie has her little accusations now. Fine, she can say whatever she wants. I'm not going to comment on it. Though he would share that they never enjoyed a honeymoon period.
This marriage was on the rocks the entire marriage, he insisted on the October 20 episode. And how would I know that? Because I had such a better relationship with Janelle, with Christine, with Robin. He admitted he should have gotten out of the relationship 25 years ago, but he stayed out of fear, noting, leadership will never allow you to marry again if you're discarding wives.